along with in order to grow and build and supersize your business. Because some people we don't have to get along with, we can choose who we want to work with with respect to customers, but we can't necessarily choose who we want to work with when it comes to people in our municipality, when it comes to regulators, when it comes to uh, auditing events, when it comes to the IRS. Your IRS agent is the person that's assigned by the government, you have no control over that. Things like that. So we talked about that. and. It goes along with the topic for our annual challenge. We're focusing on relationships this month, and our topic today was tolerance. What is, you know, what is tolerance? How does it fit into our relationships? And not just our primary relationship, but, but other relationships as well. I'm gonna have an opportunity to practice tolerance today, in meaning that we accept and we respect and we get along with people that are different than ourselves, and our, than myself and than yourself. We get along with people that are different than us. We accept people that are different than us. Now, I, I'm gonna share this list because I think it's a really powerful list and I wish I would have had it a decade or two ago, probably three decades ago. It would have saved me a lot of time, energy, and heartache. But then the good things that came out of some of my relationships wouldn't exist in my life either. And so I would never go back and change that. But it's a great list to have and share. It's the things that we should not tolerate in other people. Now, we all exhibit some of these behaviors. We've all experienced some of these things and uh, in, our, in our past, but it doesn't mean we have to tolerate or put up with them going forward, especially in our primary relationships. And we have to check ourselves and ask ourselves, am I doing any of these things in my relationships? Am I doing it to my kids? Am I doing it to my parents? Am I doing it to my family and friends? Am I doing it to my significant other? And if I am, maybe I better take a little time to make some personal development, positive changes, and learning in my own life. Because we all have room for improvement. We all can continually improve. We can all can try to be better tomorrow, or better today than we were yesterday, and better tomorrow than we were today. So uh, I'm gonna share this quick list of 25 things we should not tolerate in our relationships. And you can do with it what you want, but I thought it was a good list to think about my own behavior as well as the people that I interact with, knowing that we're not gonna change other people's behavior, but if we're doing any of these things, we sure have the, the power and the possibility of changing them in ourselves. So what are the things we shouldn't tolerate in relationships? Number one, physical abuse. Number two, mental and emotional abuse. Number three, stonewalling. Four, ignoring boundaries and needs. Five, never apologizing. Six, manipulation and control. Seven, obsessive jealousy. Eight, comparing irrationally, meaning comparing somebody or yourself to someone else that or to something that you have no control over if i compare myself to every tall skinny woman on the planet that's an irrational comparison because i'm never going to be taller than five foot one and a half i'm never going to be a, a tall woman uh, so that would be an irrational comparison it's like going online and comparing yourself to people that have been in business for a lot longer and are multi-millionaires and you're just starting out it's an irrational comparison it makes no sense Number nine, demeaning statements. Number 10, shaming. Number 11, gaslighting. Number 12, breaking your trust. Number 13, constantly making excuses for them. If you're having to constantly make excuses for yourself or for other people, that's a problem. 14, neediness and clinging. 15, lying. 16, hurtful comments. 17, denying your friends. 18, dismissing your family. 19, financial control or lack of financial control. 20, refusing to compromise or negotiate. 21, addiction without a recovery plan. 22, the slave treatment. 23, constant negativity. 24, grandiosity and entitlement. 25, disrespect. I think this is from actually marriage.com, but I think it's a terrific list to, again, think about ourselves and our own behavior. Are we all jealous sometimes? Do we all gaslight sometimes? Do we all compare ourselves to others irrationally sometimes? Hopefully we don't physically abuse or mentally or emotionally abuse ourselves, but probably we do. Negative self-talk is, in my opinion, a form of mental and emotional personal abuse. We should not do that. We should stop doing that. All right, in my opinion. Uh, sometimes we're needy. Sometimes we're clingy. Sometimes we're, we have financial control. Sometimes we behave irrationally financially. Uh, it, we're all a work in progress. But I think it's a good list to share and think about and do a little self-audit and maybe do a little audit of your relationship. And then if you see, oh boy, this is coming up a lot, instead of really engaging, we tend to just walk away from one another in the middle of an argument. Maybe that's okay in the short term, but we have to make sure that we are re-engaging and actually solving the root cause of the problem that 
that caused us to want to gaslight and walk away from one another in the first place. Today is Father's Day. <clears throat> in addition to Father's Day, my sister just called me and said there are a couple criminals loose in my small town and I should lock my doors, which I never lock my doors, and I always have the garage wide open so I can get the dogs in and out. But I went up and I locked my doors because she wouldn't get off the phone until I went upstairs and locked my doors. Uh, I, it's, it's different. It's really weird. I'm used to living out in the country. I've lived out in the country the vast majority of my 62 years here on the planet, and I'm in the city now. A couple years I've lived in the city. I'm just not used to being in town, so I still act as if I live out in the country, and and there's nobody around, and I have nothing to worry about, which I think is a, a okay way to be. Anyway, happy Father's Day! If I can help you anyway, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow, just to share some of the things that I'm learning and the lessons that I'm learning as I'm building and supersizing and growing my own businesses and helping other people to do this. Have a great day.